Go home! Are talking about the science fiction movie Radius. This is a Canadian movie uh, directed and co-written by uh, Caroline Libreche and Steve Leonard. And this one stars uh, Diego uh, Klatanov, who uh, I think you may know from The Blacklist and uh, Homeland, and also uh, Charlotte Sullivan, who I was a fan of in the in the TV series Rookie Blue. Now the story here is somewhat original. I've got to say it's kind of. Uh, Quite an original story, none that I don't think you've seen any time before. So let's kind of give you a base idea of what it is. It essentially focuses on, a, on two characters, our kind of our male lead. Uh, is this guy who kind of wakes up from a car accident with amnesia, doesn't know what's happened. And he kind of keeps on coming across uh, dead bodies that look like they've been kind of like affected by some kind of virus. And that's initially what he thinks he is, what it, what it is. Uh, however, it kind of as it transpires, we we learn that there is some event that has basically caused anyone to kind of go within f sort of 50 feet of him to uh, basically die of kind of mysterious circumstances. Uh, the only he, there is one other character that kind of comes into play, uh, played by uh, Sullivan, who is a character that can kind of is is able to kind of get close to them without dying. And without kind of going too much more into the plot, ultimately it's a story of these two sort of characters trying to kind of find out what's going on. They both kind of can't remember what, what, who they are, who they were before this incident, uncovering the truth and obviously seeing if they can come to a, a conclusion with this movie. So let's talk about what works and what doesn't work with radio. So we'll start off with the any negatives first of all. Two things I would say, uh, and they're both really for the writing. The first one, I would say this movie does rely a little bit too heavily on conveniences. There are certain things that happen in this movie, you think, well, that's convenient, isn't it? That's convenient that that person kind of knows this person, etc. Kind of without giving away too many spoilers. When you kind of watch the movie, you'll maybe understand a little bit what I'm saying. But it just, it just seems to me that uh, the writing is maybe a little bit too uh, neat in this, in this particular instance. And the other thing also to do with the writing, and this is... If you if you haven't read the kind of synopsis, and I've been deliberately vague, I think it's quite hard to kind of get the grasp about what's going on in regards to what the situation is. Now, um, when you first watch this movie, it does seem like it's kind of like a viral outbreak. But how the kind of the, the, the character kind of knows this, I didn't feel was earned. I didn't feel actually what was going on. I really didn't know what was going on, to be honest with you, uh, until after the character did, and I, I didn't know how he got to these conclusions, basically, because it wasn't apparent to me. So I feel that the the writing about, you know, how this the sort of central character finds out what the problem is, he just has these kind of leaps in logic that kind of, to me, didn't really, didn't really feel natural. They just kind of felt like, oh, he needs to find out now, so he'll just kind of know. Uh, so it kind of bothered me a little bit, some writing elements here. This movie has four writer's credits, and maybe that was the problem. But what does work? Uh, let's talk about the good stuff. For me, this was a really fantastic premise and a really original idea, and I really thoroughly enjoyed it, actually. It's one of these things that will kind of, like, drip-feed you information as the movie progresses. And although I have a couple of instances where I had a problem with it and see my negatives, for the most part, I actually thought um, the way the reveals were kind of handed to the audience were quite good, and, and it kind of, um, you know, it would change your perception ultimately about what happens and how you kind of view these characters as the kind of the film progresses. So that was all I quite liked, and you do kind of learn about these things uh, as the characters do, so you're not kind of one step ahead of the characters at any point. And on occasion, you'll kind of see that our flashbacks will kind of maybe fill in some of the blanks. So I actually quite like the premise. I thought the storytelling was quite good for the most part. I thought the performances were very good. I mean, these guys are primarily a TV actors, but I thought they did uh, a good job of kind of having these characters who ultimately don't know each other initially. They, they, they completely have no memory, but as we kind of go through the, the story, obviously, pieces will kind of fall into place, and obviously you'll see their performances change within that. I thought, I thought it was quite good. 
I thought that's actually quite a well paced film as well. I thought the reveals come at, you know, like I said, I have, do have some problems with maybe some of the pacing. Maybe it just kind of burrows through it a little bit too fast in places. But I feel it, it does enough to keep you interested and kind of wanting you to find out what happens. Ultimately, I thought this was a satisfying movie. My critiques are more a, on a surface level, I think. I just feel it's, sometimes it just becomes a little bit too, maybe a little bit too silly, whilst it could be quite an intelligent science fiction. Uh, but maybe it takes some shortcuts that maybe it shouldn't have. But for the, but saying that, it still is an entertaining science fiction film with the original premise. And I think one that, uh, you know, it, it is quite, it's quite fun. Although don't, don't be expecting, you know, it, everything to be kind of explained um, by the end, ultimately. And you would, you would maybe think when you watch this, oh, do you know what, that would have been interesting to find out what maybe a scientific person would say, stuff like that. Um, but it's definitely worth your time if you like original science fiction movies, if you like a kind of an original story uh, that you maybe haven't seen before. I thought it was kind of quite fun and with good performances. So you, I can't really say too much uh, negative about it, if I'm honest. So I'll give this movie a solid 7 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me comments and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>